Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while but we're back and today I'm going to show you my favourite spot to land in Chapter 4 Season 3. I was going to do a different spot, however I've seen it on another YouTube video and I thought it'd feel like I'm copying them. So I've gone with a different spot that I don't think anyone else has gone with. So let's dive straight in so I can show you it right now. Alright, so for this drop spot you're going to want to look on the map here and you see the edge here. See this temple, you're going to want to go to here. This area right here, that's where we're going to drop. And we're going to drop about now. And I'm frozen. Oh, there we go. Now there's lots of good things that come with this spot. Several different areas and it's it's quiet. But occasionally there will be one person that you might have to kill off spawn. So it can be a bit difficult. Now you might be thinking it's this little like house on top of the cliff. But it's actually not. We are not going to go there straight away. What we're actually going to do is we're going to land on here. We're going to get a gun. That's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to land on the tree to get a gun. Then we're going to run over to the other tree. And then onto here. So this is what I meant by at least one person off spawn that you might have to fight. There we go. He's out of the way now. There is normally a cooler there so you can get like a slurp fish or something. Not a slurp fish. Um, a flop or something. There's an ammo crate here and normally a floor loop there. And then grab the zip line and immediately drop down because this is where uh, slowness and there's going to be a floor loot here and then a chest on this tank which is giving me the new MKAR I'm going to drop them and then if you speak to Innovator Sloan she will give you something for instance like a big pot then in here there is one chest which I've just gathered some good loot from I'm about to use that in a second there we go and then in the other container there will be another chest and a floor loot and also sometimes there will be an ammo crate there then after that there is the slurp berry thing and another one next to it oh i did not mean to get them more there we go i did not get the wasps okay that's are they just there now Okay, what? That was a bit weird. Anyway, these regenerate every 30 seconds, which is very helpful. I need uh, one more, but instead I'm just going to use this to get it out of my inventory. And then we are going to head over to this. We're going to go through here. Two chests can spawn in here. We're going to take that and all that. I'm going to pick up the med mist, actually. Then I've got a perk, so I'm going to go with shotguns reload faster. I could do with a shotgun now. And then I normally go to zip this to this zip line. There should normally be a chest here, which you can get some more loot from. And then if you jump onto this tree, get higher up, there might be some ground loot on this tree. And then you jump over to this area where there's this little cabin here. An ammo crate here. Drum shotgun. I am actually gonna take that. And I'm gonna drop my SMG because it's a powerful drum shotgun. So. And then in here, you have some ground loot, a ammo crate. Up here, you have a chest on the roof, which I'm about to get. Yep, right here, there's a chest. And then also if you go down into this area, there's another chest. Now it says there's another chest, but I think that might just be a glitch because I don't think there is. Oh no, there is. There's actually another one up there. Okay. So if you destroy into the roof, there is a third chest here. Although not all of these chests are... They're never 100% guaranteed. So they won't spawn all the time. Then I usually grab the truck. Once again, it's not 100% spawn rate. If you go down into this area, there will then be a chest over here by this little raft. So that you'll get some more loot from that. And if you have a key by now, you can use one of these, which 
I currently don't have a key. And then from here, I'm going to use the zip line up. Now this is this temple area. Normally a fair few people go here, as you can see the ammo crate's opened. But after a while, there isn't many people here. So you can gather like the loot that's been left and the chests and all the rest. I believe there's another chest somewhere around here. Yes, there's one here. All right, some more loot. Another perk, I'm gonna go with this perk. Now I hear a player, I think. Oh, he's just zipped up there, okay. Well, I'm probably gonna see him in a second then. And then there's the NPC trace up here, which you can either buy a purple, th a purple thermal DMR or a purple tactical pistol from, which is good. Ammo crate, some more chests. And then I'm trying to spot this player that just arrived. Don't want him to get in the way. Can't actually see him. Oh. Who's shooting at me? Where are they? I think that might be an NPC because. Okay, where is this person throwing or shooting from? I'm so confused right now. Oh, he's down there, okay. Well, I'm gonna charge up this cannon. And he's dead. Just like that. All right, well that was interesting. He's got some loot for me, he does as well. All right, I'm gonna use this and then I'm gonna use the big pot. And now I actually have two keys. And from here, we're actually gonna head this way. We're gonna go down the zip line and we're gonna head over to the gas station. The gas station that is like half in the mud, half still intact. So it's this one right here. Gonna make our way over. Oh, you can use that to get on the roof and then if you drop down, you won't take any full damage. I'm gonna get a eliminate player this match quest. And then I, th I believe there's normal, yeah, there's a chest and an ammo crate in here and a bit of floor loot as well. Another ammo crate. And then there is these. I am going to get a better shotgun actually. And there's also someone riding on a motorbike. Okay, here we go. Come on. Okay. Where are they going? Right, I may as well get my other perk while I'm here. Yeah, I'll get steady hands. Right, here goes. Well, that's a bit of a glitch. Okay, so all that did was drop him down. Come on. This guy's taking way too long to kill. I don't mind how you dive. Come here. Oh my god, this is taking forever. There we go. Alright. Can I get in here now? Thank you, thank you. Alright. Just gonna use a shield pot and then that's it. Now from here on I think I'd just keep going from zone to zone, getting the rest of my augments and just trying to win. So that's what we're going to do now. There is another player over there. Just got finished with fighting a player. Alright, well, may as well. Why not, eh? 
Okay, he's there. Yep, that's good. Come back. Okay, that was very close. I thought that like shockwave thing would hit him, but I guess it didn't. Okay, wow. All right, another perk: shotgun, shotgun shells on sliding. Yes, I'll take that. Okay, well that was certainly interesting, and a very close encounter. But now we've got the mud, and I don't know if you guys knew this: you slide incredibly fast in mud. Although mud apparently slows you down when like walking, it's really fast for sliding. Just gonna get the slip barrel here as well. Perfect. Yeah, watch this. Literally, you you slide like that. And you might not know this, so I'm gonna show you it now. The incredibly fast new sliding mechanic that is broken and will soon get fixed. Okay, hang on, it's almost working. There we go, it's really fast, it's just the path is so bumpy. Okay, it might be good down here. Now it's just stopped. Right. I can't get it right. I think I need to do a bit of sprinting first or something. Alright, come on. There we go. It's uh, the new very fast sliding. It works very well. Alright, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to head to about center zone. And then what I find is a good method, but it's kind of like a, a weak method if you don't want to... It's a weak method if you want to like push people because the method is just to sit in the trees because no one can see you. Okay, whoa, this guy is really annoying. Okay, who else? Why is it set me so high? Okay, bro. There we go. Right, who else is trying to kill me? Oh my god, everyone's everywhere. No, Raptor. I'm so dead. Oh, I'm gonna die. Not good, not good, not good. I'm not dying. Get me out of here. Come on, clutch. I got away. I actually just got away. Okay, well that I did not expect. Did not think I was gonna get away from that. Holy. I saw there was like six people there or something. There were so many. Alright, well hopefully I can find something that I can heal myself with. Considering my current health. I saw a chest here. Nope, not there. Here. There we go. Yes, medkit. Perfect. Alright, well that was certainly interesting. I'm now up to six kills. Top ten as well. Maybe we can even win with my uh, new landing strategy. Here's some gunshots. So like I said, now you can sort of just chill in the rooftops. Honestly, it's really good. It may seem like I'm camping, but it's... There's so many of them. It's not like I'm just hiding in a normal tree. It's these big ones that you can jump around in, use vines on, collect loot from. There's literally chests up here. Yeah, the, the spot I was going to recommend, though, was this spot. You land sort of there, collect a bunch of loot, and just go from there. But to think the other way is actually uh, fairly better, in my opinion. I'm trying to see people. Oh, yeah, and also, if, you, if you're a good player, I would recommend going to there to contest for possibly the best gun in the game, the Mythic Drum Shotgun. It's insanely overpowered. So yeah, I'd recommend that. I'm not going to go for it because it was gone a long time ago. But yeah. 
Here's some more gunshots. Oh, someone's finding an NPC. I could shoot him from here, but also the boomerangs don't reach. And if I shot from here, I wouldn't have good accuracy with this. And this is just difficult. You can't actually aim with this. I didn't know that. So yeah, there's uh, lots of new things in the season. Kinetic boomerang, Cybertron cannon, MK Alpha assault rifle. The drum shotguns are back as well. I've got pretty much an all new season loadout. Oh, I nearly died there. Nearly fell to my death. How many shotguns are still here, by the way? I think it's the combats that have been removed. I'm not too sure, though. But I do know the Red Eye Assault Rifle is uh, gone. That's why the MK Alpha Assault Rifle is now here. I'm wondering if I can see anyone in this area. Can't actually, though. Hmm. May as well adventure a bit. When did that building get here? No. No, no, no. I don't remember a person being here. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, that guy came out of nowhere. Connect boomerang. I do not need one. See, that's wonderful. Now I'm down here. Well, it's top six, though. So yeah, I pretty much got my health back. Did I? I looted here before, didn't I? Right, he's there. Hmm, I'm going to try and make it to that tree somehow. I haven't quite figured out how though. Do you reckon I can make it from this tree to this tree? Yes, I can. And now up here somehow? Or over to here. See, these treetops are very good for like maneuvering. Can actually get around quite easily. Can't tell if I find someone or not. Oh, top five. Someone just died over here, I think. Yep, player there. Alright, top five, and I'm still in the trees. <coughs> not bad. And you have these like uh, they look like fa fly trap plants, but you use them to get a get down. It's like a bounce pad type thing, you know. <coughs> hmm. I'm also excited to see what the new uh, like secret styles are for these skins. You know how like every season there's a like a gold, purple, and silver sort of thing, or something like that. Gold, purple, blue. I'm excited to see what they're going to be for this season, and which which uh, skins they're going to be. Oh, player fighting wasps. That is an NPC right there. Yep. It's certainly an NPC. Down to top four. Wow. Oh, top three now. I'm going to feel someone's over there. Oh, I missed. That's sad. See, now we have to go this way. Lucky for me. If I get onto this tree, I have a way to get there. Almost instantly. Through the vines. I can get to that tree. Nope. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. Okay. Okay. That was unintentional. I meant I can get to that tree. And then from there I can use a fly trap to get down. Okay, now it's top two. Yay, a 1v1. Oh, okay. I can't even see what I'm shooting at. But I hit him for like 110. No! How did you get all the way over there? Alright, GG, good game. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was the landing spot that I think is really good. Once again, it is over here. 
You got the temple, and it's this little bit here. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good rest of your day.